beginning of my life was just nonstop hockey, 10 hour road trips, sitting in the car with the family. Um, and then I came of age where it was time for me to start playing hockey. And of course my grandma was the first one out there, you know, tying my skates, getting me skating lessons. And uh, I didn't like it at first, honestly. I didn't like it because my feet hurt. I went home from the first lesson crying. But um, obviously I've kind of learned to love the game and um, have come pretty far with it. So once it was my turn to get on the ice, I started playing out with Hicken for about eight years, I think. Um, from there, I transitioned to a high level team and played tier one um, for about two years and then kind of realized that I wasn't really going anywhere with it. I didn't want to play high level in college. So I went back, played with a bunch of my buddies from Wissickin. Um, we had kind of had one last hoorah at the club and uh, one final send off. Um, and then basically decided I was gonna come to York for engineering. Um, didn't really, I knew they had a team, but I wasn't really interested at first. Um, and then I had a class with one of them are now roommates, uh, Kendall Reynolds. Um, and he just kind of said, you know, you should come out. We need players. So I went out, instantly meshed with all the guys. Uh, it's a great team to be part of, good family. And now captain of the team, co-captain, living with the other captains in a suite. We're all part of the executive board. Um, we've come a long way and we're really growing the team. and kind of great to see where it's come from where it started. Uh, so the reason I keep playing, uh, it's kind of something that I've always done. It's kind of part of my natural habit now of just always being on the ice. Um, I can't really get away from it. My sister coaches, she coaches in New Jersey at the Prince of Tiger Lilies. My dad coaches back at Wissick and Skating Club where he started playing probably, I don't know, 40 plus years ago. Um, my dad's 54, he's still in it. My sister, she's 28, she's still in it. Um, and I'm sure once I'm out of college, my uncle will have me on the phone, hooking me up with a coaching job at Wissickin. So besides the fact that my family grew up around Wissickin, um, I grew up there as a kid, my sister did, my dad did, um, my grandparents kind of helped found that institution. Um, it holds a deeper meaning in my heart, just through the fact that one of my buddies who I played with uh, my last year of hockey passed away uh, kind of suddenly during one of our games. There was nothing due to playing hockey, anything like that. It was just kind of a freak accident. Um, but that last year, playing hockey with all my friends and having that kind of tragedy happen with all of us there, um, it definitely brought us closer. A lot of my friends that I played with that year, we hadn't talked a lot before that. Um, and now after that event happening, um, I kind of couldn't imagine playing with anybody else that year. Um, we still, all of us keep in touch to this day. Um, we're all looking to get together, kind of celebrate my buddy Nick who passed away, um, celebrate him and just kind of live his legacy on. Um, that's kind of what all of us are focusing our life towards now, now that he's not here. Rob Bond, who I talked about, his son was actually the one who passed away. So he obviously holds a lot of significance in my heart just because of who he is, what he's been through, um, and how he's helped me overcome stuff even after losing something like his son. Um, and then Bill Peterson, he's just an overall good guy. He was a great hockey coach. Um, I know he's battled cancer a few times, continues to overcome it. Um, Tony Porca, he coached me when I was at a higher level team. Um, he kind of knew that I wasn't going to go, you know, D1. I wasn't going to go all the way, but he still had faith in me. He always helped me out. He always made me a better hockey player. And then I can't forget my dad, even though he tended not to want to coach me, he did help out. and. Uh, maintain a head coach position for a few years with me. Um, but there's nothing better than having a dad as a coach. You know, he's always there helping out, even though he can be a pain in the butt when you go home and all you hear about is what you did wrong during game, what you did wrong during practice. But he's always helped me out with stuff. 
in and outside of hockey.